Uh, somebody following? What's making that sound? That's, that's like a walking stick. Yeah, it is a walking stick. So long apart? They have history? Alright, what's up everybody? We are on Season 2, Episode 13, the season finale of Classroom of the Elite. And this episode is called The Worst Enemy You Can Meet Will Always Be Yourself. Yeah, for now it seemed like Rewin was going to be that worst enemy. I mean, I truly wonder how we're going to be dealing then with this so-called aftermath that I guess we asked Manabu to help us out with, right? Like, he would be the one saying that he'd be taking care of it, let's say. I don't exactly know what he implied when he said that exactly. I don't know how Ainokoji necessarily figures he's now dealt with this whole situation involving Ryuin. Technically, his identity has, of course, been exposed, but then again, he fucked them up so majorly that... Are they going to be leaving the school, or what, what's going to be actually happening here? I mean, he got... Re well, now that I think about it, he... You know, I, I guess the whole point of the scene towards the end of the last episode that I just came off of, by the way, um, about an hour ago, is that Ryoin finally showed some fear, right? He had this whole speech about, like, oh, yeah, fear and pleasure, basically, you know, two sides of the same coin... I don't let anything get to me whatsoever. Ainokoji made it very clear. Well, I'm actually uh, surprisingly similar to you then in that case. Uh, in fact, I truly won't let things get to me. And he kind of proved real and wrong, right? Because in that final moment, there was a glimpse of fear there, actually. And I don't know what the fear necessarily was about. Was the fear about... Like, the fear could have been several things. The fear could have genuinely been like... Oh my god, if this dude punches me one more time, I'm fucking dying over here. Because, I mean, he definitely knocked him unconscious, right? But, like, honestly, he could have killed him in a moment. I don't think that actually happened, of course. But uh, <laughs> it's it should be a genuine fear you have when you get into a crazy fist fight like that. Like, you know, damage can be done, right? I don't know. He, he could have even not necessarily died, right? But something else, else could have happened to him that would make him... Um, yeah, how do you say, say that? Like, that would basically make him disabled or something, right? Or like, he, you know, might not be mentally all there anymore or something as a consequence. It might have done some brain damage. All those things are possible risks that you run. So, was that what the fear was about? Or was the fear simply a fear of Ayanokoji himself? After he showed off his true identity, let's say, and some of his skills and stuff, right? I don't know exactly what the scene was meant to convey necessarily to me, right? And I think we're going to figure it out in this episode when we realize what the aftermath is going to be. So it could also simply be kind of similar to, you know, how we dealt in a way with Kushida. It's like, we didn't have to get rid of her. It's just that we beat her at our own game. And technically we did the same thing just now with Rio when we beat him at his own game, right? And it's like, he's just going to keep quiet simply out of a fear for Aino Koji. And that's how we're going to be going up the ranks, we're going to be overtaking Class C without having to worry that, like, they'll be coming for us anymore or something, right? I think that's, you know, that's what I should be expecting. But uh, that being said, how Manabu is going to get involved with all of this, the fact that Ainokoji made him the promise that he'd be making sure that Horikita would be able to go to the, uh, uh, to, to be a part of the student council or whatever was interesting too, because I didn't realize that Manabu, yeah, actually... You know, like he was showing some 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 caring for his sister in that moment. And so that's definitely something new. Uh, ho hopefully something we dive into a little bit more. But yeah, what else really to expect for this season finale? I don't know. I kind of have a feeling like we might be overtaking Class C in this episode or something. That's, that's honestly how I had figured early on that the first season would be ending. You know, and that slowly would be making our way up the ranks. It's actually surprising when you think about it that two full seasons in right now, we are still Class D. Uh, because we have quite a, a ways to go to get to that actual A spot, right? And of course, we'll be going up years eventually as well, right? I mean, right now we're still year one. So when is year two going to be starting? I don't think it's meant to start yet because this is another comment, by the way, that I got that I never got to address over on Patreon. I don't remember who clued me in about it, but it might have been Loyeza as per usual with this show. But, uh, but, um, like, apparently, when Manabu uh, resigned as president, he didn't so much resign, it was more like, oh, you know, like, oh yeah, but I, I think what it's supposed to be is like, he's in his final year, and 
um, presidents are usually picked halfway through the year or something like that. So he was basically forced to go. There was nothing really sketchy about that. I always thought there was some behind the scenes explanation. You know, Aino Koji set something up with him or something went on. But apparently that's not what it was. The show just didn't really do a great job of like explaining actually why he had quit. Um, unless it turns out they do still come up with a reason now. But yeah, like I said, I think it's as simple as that. Probably something that the light novel would have made more clear. But um, yeah, I, again, like I guess that means that Manabu is going to be leaving the school when this year also ends. But again, I don't think that season two is meant to be ending the whole year yet because... When Manabu got replaced, that was like halfway through this season. And that was essentially what should have been halfway through the full year, right? So this full year is so far going to be season one, season two. And then I think season three probably as well still. Uh, I don't know if I'm still even making sense anymore at this point. I'm just trying to lay it out, structure it in my head. But that being said, looking forward to seeing what this episode is going to bring as always, guys. So with that being said, if you enjoy my reactions to Classroom of the Elite, you can, of course, get early access to the next six, oh, sorry, 12 episodes straight away over on my Patreon page, which is going to be linked on top of the description. Assuming that season three is only going to have 12 or 13 episodes, will either be done or very close to being done with that uh, season over there. So go and check it out. You can, of course, also check out my full length reactions over there and you can sign up as a free member and watch at least the next two episodes already right now as well. So I hope to see you there. But for now, let's dive into this last episode of Season 2 of Classroom of the Elite. Before I kill them, what, his own dad or something? He, oh, the, is he talking about the snake? He'd bitten me? I mean, he's using the word he, so I doubt he's talking about the snake, right? Still, yeah, what was that backstory about? They definitely teased something there. <laughs> My man is doing rough, but hey, at least he's alive, man. Not that I'm necessarily happy about that, but... Drop out, huh? Did he say that? He is gone, dude. He really is. Yep. Guess what? Aina Koji is the strongest. He's saying I have no authority anymore having lost this, I guess, huh? Damn. Yeah, it's actually not what I had expected that... Holy shit. Ibuki here and... The other classmates are at least gonna stay. She knows the secret too, you know? It doesn't really seem like any fear is driving her yet. Ainukoji is witnessing this whole thing, huh? Wow. I can use this blue head girl. Yep.ひどい目にも合わされた。でも昨日は助けてくれた。He did. That's a really conflicting part. Yeah, I know you like him, but. Don't say that they were mutual. Don't start thinking that, because I don't think they were. Like, we saw Aino Koji in his final, in the final moment last episode, say something that made me just feel like, oh my god, he's still talking about her as a pawn, though. <sighs> That's the fucked up thing about his character. <laughs> You said yes? Is she asking advice to ask him? Oh. You've got the relationship expertise. So I need some... Yeah, okay. I need some help. 
Little did she know they've got the same romantic interest. Oh my god. You never want to be this frantic about it. The legendary tree. Don't tell me it's the Aaron tree. <laughs> Exclusive as the one day to <laughs> legendary tree. Dude, I'm telling you, the legendary tree starts the Attack on Titan sequel. Oh god. Christmas? See, so it's like, it's December right now. Okay, who is she supposed to go with? Okay. Wait, I forget, but do the, are the others still under the impression that she is with Hirata? Yep. Nope. <laughs> oh god, I was about to say my man is asexual again, but I, I, I know I shouldn't be commenting that because he isn't. <laughs> he sure doesn't have any actual interest in them. Yeah, fair point. But he wanted to continue the pact. Look into Sato. Who she hangs out with. What? Oh my god, what is he suspecting her of? Ooh, that sounds a little personal. Like, you would be interested. That's what she's gonna think. <laughs> he just flat out ignored her. Like, no, I, I probably can't do that. Doesn't matter. Do it anyway. That's what you're gonna think, huh? Yeah, I get that, but don't worry. Yeah, it's hard to ever understand what anyone else is thinking other than yourself. He's suggesting it to her now, huh? I guess that's part of the promise he'd made to Manabu, like... Ooh, okay, he's gonna be... Wow, he's just gonna be upfront about that. Interesting. She doesn't buy it. Is he telling her to call him? Oh, yeah, okay. Your favorite sibling. <laughs> this music playing right now is kind of telling me he's giving her some encouraging words. Which is an interesting turn of events. Okay, that's pretty objectively put still, but... I mean, more importantly, I don't see why Manabu wants you so badly to do it. Okay. <laughs> He's like, I've done my part. Called Kushida. Merry Christmas Eve. <laughs> <laughs> oh god, I'll never get over her. Wow. Is he gonna make a suggestion like you don't have to quit, don't leave, or something like I mean it's a choice that Ryo made by himself though, but Oh. Oh. 
Wait, he thought the whole thing was captured? Yeah, apparently. え、だんだったな。龍炎。お前一人なら <laughs> I mean, yeah, that's kind of been your character this entire time. Your plan for me. Oh, God, am I going to be one of your pawns? He's asking. Okay, so no, so Ryuan really just thought that he was gonna get busted for what he did. And Aino Koji made sure that that wasn't gonna happen. Oh shit, we're going after Kushida? The third term, yep. Basically, the third season, I guess, huh? But it'll likely fall back to Class D. What? Afterwards? He's saying it'll overtake and go back. Because I'm gonna have Kushida expelled. Fuck. We're still doing this, huh? I thought we would have arranged this by now, by this season finale. Earlier on, of course, but I came to realize as we progressed that, yeah, it didn't have to happen, but I guess it still does. How are we involving Sato in all this, though? What's... I mean... What is he figuring about her? That she is somehow involved with the other classes? Class A, maybe? See, she did come with Hirata. They all still think that they're a thing, huh? Yeah, okay. That was always fake, of course, but still. What a great suggestion! A fun change of pace. Nah, Aino Koji never plans ahead. <laughs> oh my god, no, this is like I'm turning on the fucking Wii, playing Wii Sports or something like that. Any kind of Nintendo device. <laughs> of course you did. <laughs> oh shit, yeah. That's a fair point. Fun. I love fashion, I love going clothing, shopping. Go to university. That was sarcasm just now, by the way, guys. What is she looking? Ooh, man, she's like, yeah. She is genuinely looking into this. Wrong. <laughs> yeah, they do a great job at faking it. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. She's making a move. Oh god. No. It's like she can see it coming. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that's kind of his thing. I'm kind of worried that he is gonna maybe give in. Oh, here we go. I've judged you unworthy of smiling for. Damn, dude. Ruthless. Oh, God. Just like that, huh? 
ダメかよかったらさ理由を教えてもらえないか<笑> no, I don't really think he can honestly 好きになってないのに付き合うことはできない Oh man, I mean, hey, she asked for the truth, he gave her the truth. Okay, here we go. I mean, she asked for the truth, he gave her the truth. Okay, here we go. I don't think I'm mature enough. I don't know if you're human 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 enough. I think she's a little happy though. Why did Sato say to you that you were going to be a good one? Sato will not be your name. Substitute. God, you're really wording it like that. I thought you were going to be a good one. But Kiyotaka didn't see the person as a person. Yep. The cold harsh truth right there. Who did you know about who you were going to be a good one? The cold harsh truth right there. Who did you know about who you were going to be a good one? He's not programmed like that, man. Ah, I don't think it's going to be a good idea. I don't think it's going to be a good idea. I don't think it's going to be a good idea. Yeah, it's not technically that he has prepared a gift, it's just... I mean, it's still, you know... Caring. Exactly. Exactly. <laughs> Calling her by her, like, first name, right? Oh no, she's feeling, uh... Very optimistic. This will do. Oh my god. See, I was so fucking prepared for this, though. Proposing an end. Oh, the whole thing, huh? The whole thing was pre-planned. Delaying the rescue. Yep. We are completely mentally breaking you. Shit, dude. Just using that female programming. Here we go. I suppose I'm still there? What do you mean? World ever change? Ever go away? Yeah. Doubtful. Man! Yeah, what a... What a way to end it. What? You're not telling me you're worried about people seeing the two of you together, right? Uh, somebody following? What's making that sound? It's, it's like a walking stick. Yeah, it is a walking stick. So long apart? They have history? He doesn't know? Ooh, maybe he's gonna remember though. Oh shit! Oh shit! But I thought the father... Uh, the father, here we go, but... <laughs> I thought his dad basically said... Capable of burying me, damn. That Ainokoji was his best asset, essentially. Oh my god, okay, that made things a whole lot more uh, fascinating for sure. Once again, guys, don't forget to subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell, and of course, you can get early access to the next 12 episodes straight away over on my Patreon page, which is going to be linked on top of the description. Go and check it out. You can also sign up as a free member and watch the next two episodes right now. So I'll see you there.